Hello, how you doing? My name is CS1 Williams, and I'm an instructor here at Tracy and Petaluma CSA School. Uh, today, I'm going to cook on the Kosi. I'm going to make an, uh, Chinese sticky ribs. Uh, this is kind of like a variation on, like, if you're tired of doing barbecue ribs all the time in the oven, you know, this is something you can try to switch it up and, you know, give your crew something different. Uh, you don't need a smoker or a grill or anything for this recipe. Alright, so all the ingredients except the things for the glaze we're going to put into our bowl. So we'll start with the hoisin sauce. We're going to add our sugar. Soy sauce. A sherry. We're going to add in all that sliced ginger. A smashed garlic cloves. A strips of orange peel. A cayenne pepper. A stems of cilantro. And the white portion of our green onions. Just give that a stir. So I kind of incorporate all the ingredients together. All right, now we're just gonna take this and pour this right over our ribs. So here I have four slabs of pork baby back ribs. You want to make sure they all get coated. I have a, a roasting pan that I spray with pan spray. It's going to help from burning. It may not seem like a lot of liquid now, but this will cook down and then the ribs themselves will give off liquid, create our sauce. It will turn into a glaze later. If you need to spoon some on top, go ahead and spoon it on top. We want to roast these uh, meat side down. We want the bone uh, to be at the top. So it's nice and coated. All right, now I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. And we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for approximately two and a half to three hours until those ribs are tender. We want them tender, but we don't want them to fall apart because we're going to put a glaze on them and we're going to put them back in the oven to continue cooking to get that glaze on. So we don't want them to fall off the bone, but we want them tender. All right, so it's been about three hours. Our ribs are tender. Now all that liquid that formed in our pan, I took it, I strained it to a china cap into a sauce pot like this. I reduced it down with the hot pepper jelly and a cider vinegar until it came to a glazed consistency, somewhat like this. Next, we're going to start putting our glaze on our ribs. So I still have the meat side down. I added water to my pan because this is going to create a glaze and we don't want to burn the bottom of our pan. And we're going to put our glaze on. So we're going to do this in layers. So we're going to glaze this side, throw it in a 400 degree oven, flip them over, glaze the meat side, throw them in a 400 degree oven, and we're going to reverse that process again. So that glaze gets nice and hard and sticky, which is what we want. We want nice layers of glaze on these ribs. So once the ribs are done, I turn my oven up to 400 degrees. We're going to turn the fan on high now so we can kind of get that glaze to harden up. At first on the bottom side, and then we're going to flip over and do it on the meat side. So now I'm going to put them in the oven. We want them to go for about four to five minutes. All right, so these are ribs after two times in the, with the glaze. I glaze the bottom and I glaze the top. I put it back in the oven and I repeated that process. Notice how we have a nice caramelized looking glaze on there. Ribs are super tender, almost fall off the bones. So I'm going to pair this with uh, just a simple Asian uh, slaw to my bowl. I'm going to add some ginger, some my rice wine vinegar. Some Grated ginger. I'm gonna make a quick emulsion with some sesame oil. Drizzle that in slowly. I'm 
I'm gonna give that a taste and see what I think. I use a little bit more vinegar. More rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna put the rest of this ginger in as well. sugar to this if you want. I'm going to sweeten it up. Alright, and here we have a bowl of cabbage. I shredded up some green cabbage, red cabbage, and then I grated some fresh carrots in here. It's a nice coleslaw mix. We're going to put our Asian sesame ginger dressing. Let's go a little bit more. I'm gonna throw some of those green onions in here as well that we had that we saved from the, the bottoms that we put into our braising liquid for our ribs. Mix that in there as well. All right, that's done. I usually try to cut them into about two to three ribs each. These are very tender. I made sure that I peeled the membrane off the back of the ribs before I braise them. All right, next we're going to take our Asian slaw we made and put this in individual portions, however you choose to plate it up. I'm going to put a bed of our Asian slaw in the middle, take one portion of our ribs, lay it on top. A little bit of green onion. Cut on the bias. And sprinkle it with a little sesame seeds. Just a pinch of cilantro on top as well. To finish it, I thinned out the sauce a little bit, just enough to drizzle it onto the plate. For a nice garnish in appearance. Just want to drizzle that around the plate. And there you have it, Chinese sticky ribs with Asian slaw.